Alrighty. So yes, here we are. Uh, how's it going, everyone? This is Winterbit, and uh, I bring to you truly a hidden gem. Game of the Year 2017, even though this was made in 2000. Pokemon Adventure, also known as Pokemon Gold 2 in some regions. And we're gonna go ahead and get things rolling in just a second. Right after I mentioned that this is perhaps the first um, ROM hack of a ROM hack that was ever uh, created. It's based on a game called Sonic Adventure 7 for the Game Boy Color. And uh, that game was actually based off a Game Boy game that was a bootleg port of a Sonic game called Sonic 3D Blast 5. So clearly this is going to be a, a very valuable run. <laughs> I, I can't work a pun into that. Anyway, here we go in 3, 2, 1, go. So you are Sonichu. And that's, that's, that's just the first, the first thing you notice right off the bat, of course. However, all of these enemies are from various games. And there we go down the pit. That's really bad, actually. I'm gonna have to start that level over. <laughs> Great start. Every time you die, there are no checkpoints in the level, so you do have to start all the way at the beginning again. Um, so these levels, all the levels in the game are actually based on Bonk's Revenge. There we go. First try. So as long as you're moving, you can do a little damage boost here for safety. As long as you're moving down when you touch an enemy and you're in the air, uh, you are able to preserve your not dietude. And I'm doing a very bad job of that, and commentary as well. Long story short, the momentum system in this game is such that you, you basically have no control over your character. You want to stay on the ground as much as possible to build up run speed. However, if you're in the air and you change direction or something, that run speed is uh, negated. So you want to make sure that you uh, don't touch... You know, it, you don't jump around too much if you're trying to preserve your run speed. That right there was perfect run speed preservation. And that right there was a good example of how the, uh, the hitbox system works in this game. Gonna have to chill here for a second. So yeah, this is a, this is a terrible start. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. Also, if you lose all your lives, you have to um, pretty much start the whole game over, so that adds a bit of intensity to the run, shall we say. Two more damage boosts to uh, get past those guys at the end. And we're on to the next level, which is the real level one in my opinion. Just gonna chill here. I'm not going to take too many risks. This is this game's first appearance at a marathon. So I want it to be good. <laughs> as good as it can be, that is. Oh, and another thing is you do have a spin dash, as you can see. But it's pretty useless. You've never, um... <laughs> You're never able to kill anything with it. And it's basically impossible to stop your momentum as well, unless you're a Tass. So it's really and truly useless. There we go, that was perfect. Oopsie, a little less than perfect there. You want to hop in this, on as few enemies as possible as well, because it does slow you down. Yeah, and if you jump in if you jump in midair and you're already holding a direction, you're committed completely to that direction until the apex of your jump, at which point for some reason you're allowed to uh, turn around. A little boost get up here. And we are almost finished with this level, thank goodness. Okay. And this area has a really tricky strat that I'm not going to go for since I only have one life to spare. Normally you'd preserve run speed through here and just jump on these guys immediately. 
these uh, bloopas, as I call them. But instead, we're gonna take it safe, just like that. Oh, and I just went the wrong way, but fortunately I can just clip through the floor like that. We're good. No time lost. You know. There we go, got the fast cycle there. Perfect. Alright, so far so good, except for going for the safe strat earlier. This is pretty much as good- okay, never mind. It was as good as you can get this level. Also, you have to be very careful of these, um, definitely not me tools from Mega Man 8, because their hitbox is huge. So it's better just to be safe around them. There we go. And we are out of here. Ah oh, yes, music. Okay, that's unfortunate. So we have a very tight jump to make up here. By the way, <laughs> if you're not jumping while you're moving to the side, uh, and you uh, get hit, or no, excuse me, if you're if you're jumping and um, you have no ground momentum, okay, here's that thing. There we go. That's a very hard jump. Toughest trick in the game. Not even kidding. Anyway, if you land on the ground and you have uh, momentum preserved from the last time you were on the ground, it actually um, causes you to continue moving despite letting go of the button. So that's kind of fun. Uh, anyway, you can just kind of Mario Bros. 1-2 this level. I theorized that the spin dash would be faster to deal with this area. But uh, again, it's very difficult to control. You know what the worst part is? This music almost sounds like music. Alright, so, uh, welcome to Fire Castle. AKA, uh, Professor Oak's Mansion. You'll see what I mean at the end. And that- okay. I thought I wasn't gonna make that jump, thank goodness. So again, I'm letting go of the button as soon as I land on the ground here. And depending on how far I traveled on the previous pillar, I will move a different distance. It's gonna do that damage boost for safety. Also, the reason that I'm able to do some of these damage boosts is because... Even if you have zero Pokeballs, you don't die until you land on the ground. There we go, nice jump. That jump wastes 20 seconds if you miss it. Okay, so far so good. This has been a great run, except for the first level. Alright, this part can just kind of be a troll. Okay, yeah it was. So, last life. <laughs> That's pretty cool. If you collect 100 Pokeballs, you do get a 1-up. But it's very, very difficult to collect 100 Pokeballs without dying. Especially when you have to damage boost to even beat the game. Just gonna take that safe. By the way, world record in this game is just over six minutes, and I theorize it could be a lot lower. It's just that no one has ever done it before I <laughs> ground it out a bit. So you know, if you wanna if you wanna pick up a copy of this at your local like flea market or something, be my guest. I will teach you all that I know. There's also a task of this game that actually does not use the strats that I do. Take it nice and easy, there we go. We're almost there. I'm gonna wait. There we 
go and get ready on time. Time. <clears throat> oh yeah, there are physical copies of this game. As the boys mentioned, he himself actually gave me a copy at GDQX. <laughs> so that was a that was a video game. <laughs> I really don't know what what else to say. What's the plot resolution? I, there there is there is no plot nor resolution. <laughs> so with that, I think we're just gonna go ahead and hop right on right on over to uh, the next game. I'll let everyone get set up, and uh, see you again in a couple of minutes. It's been a pleasure to debut this game as a speedrun. And I hope to see you all in a couple minutes, because that's when I'm going to be coming back. <laughs> Alright, this game is making me go crazy. BRB.